The second uh, speaker of the afternoon is Professor Maria Teresa Borgato. Um, the title is a Questions. Uh, it's in English. Um, it's in English. Uh, yes. Questions. A different and different equation. Lagrange and different equations. Lagrange is to be credited for the first attempt to provide a general method to integrate finite difference equations and at the same time incorporate the theory of recurrent sequences. In a brief memoir published in 1759, um, Lagrange derived the expression of the general integral of a linear ordinary equation with constant coefficients of any order. Let me observe first that um, Lagrange um, had attention to uh, finite uh, and algebraic uh, method algorithms even for uh, from his first research. For example, in uh, the treatise he wrote for, for the artillery schools in Turin, he introduced differential calculus uh, um, through the rules of uh, difference calculus and also integral calculus was preceded by uh, the calculus of finite summation. Well, this is the first memoir uh, um, in which uh, um, the general uh, integration of different equations in one independent variable is um, uh, investigated. Lagrange uh, introduced uh, these equations. It's uh, of fifth degree, but the methods can be easily extended to any degree. Uh, and the, um, he inspired to uh, D'Alembert's methods for differential equations. And so these equations is reduced to the, the first order equation you can see where the unknown depends on the roots of an algebraic equations. The equation of the first order is easy integrable and so uh, the general integral um, can uh, be expressed uh, according to this formula you can see here. Um, the um, coefficients mm, here depend on the roots of the algebraic equations. Lagrange develops the method separately also for the recurring equation um, which is uh, the exact translation of the previous one and so um, he claims um, Voilà donc la théorie des suites récurrentes réduite au calcul différentiel et établie de cette façon sur des principes directs et naturels. Uh, and Lagrange here demonstrated his intention to extend the research on the argument and the topic and on its application to the doctrine of chances. But, um, but only um, almost 20 years passed, and Lagrange was preceded by Laplace in the formulation of a wider and more complete investigation. While worthy contributions were also provided by Condorcet, in fact, Laplace published three memoirs in a relatively short time. The first one in 1771 on differential and difference equations in one variable linear with variable coefficients. The second and third in 1774 and 1776 on partial difference equations. 
In the last two, much space was also devoted to the application to the calculus of probabilities and the theory of chances. Uh, but let me um, let me see uh, let me present the um, Lagrange memoir first because it's linked to the previous one, and um, Lagrange and Laplace memoirs are very different, apart from the basic uh, uh, concepts. They are different in uh, language, notations, aims, so we can speak first of uh, the Lagrange uh, memoir, or Lagrange's memoir, uh, and then talk about Laplace. In 1777, uh, Lagrange continued his research work on finite difference equations and application to game theory, and published a long memoir on this subject in the Journal of the Berlin Academy. The memoir is divided in five articles, and besides presenting a rearrangement of the theory of ordinary difference equations in one independent variable, he provides new, more direct and simpler methods for the integration of partial difference equations. Lastly, he translates in terms of partial difference equation uh, numerous, uh, a certain number of classical and new problems of gamete theory. So, uh, as for the ordinary equations, um, the, um, the Lagrange, in this case, takes his inspiration from Euler's method for homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. Instead of a solution in the exponential form, he looks for solution in the form of geometric sequences. So, if uh, yx has this form, a alpha power x, substituting and simplifying, he obtains the characteristic equations, and due to the linearity of the equation, of the given equation, Solution are also all the sequences whose general term is uh, this, uh, sum, this sum, where L, um, uh, alpha, beta, gamma are n distinct uh, roots of the characteristic equation, where x is the comp uh, and if the, the roots are all distinct. This is the complete integral because it contains n arbitrary constants. These arbitrary constants depend on the initial values, the initial data, uh, the values of the sequence y. And Lagrange gave also the formulas. Uh, of these uh, coefficients for particular integrals, depending on the initial value of the sequence. Um, if um, for a degree two, we have this uh, low, and in case of, um, um, sorry, in case of uh, three roots, we have the analog I precedent ecco qua. Ecco, this is this is the general formula for the case of all distinct roots. In case of um, uh, two coincident uh, roots of the characteristic equation, um, Lagrange formulas are the, so the following. This is the case of three. But these formulas are not exact, and they uh, um, will be corrected by uh, Gianfrancesco Malfatti in 1786, and uh, later on by uh, Lagrange himself in um, some, some more years, 
later. In the case of variable coefficients, um, Lagrange only deduced that uh, the general integral can be written uh, if, if we know um, n particular integral and um, for inhomogeneous difference equations, he presents, develops a method of variation of arbitrary constants similar to that for differential equations. In the second article, uh, Lagrange um, uh, develops the um, equation, partial differential equations, in uh, two uh, independent variables. That is, uh, studies uh, functions of two integer variables, we satisfy uh, a recurrent condition. This is the most general equation of the uh, of the, the order n in two variables, in two independent variables. Lagrange first examines the equations of a particular type and then he extends his method to a general equation of the second order. Uh, the method is the following. It's an extension of the method, previous methods in a case of one variable. He searches for a solution of these types this uh, y x t in the form of uh, uh, a alpha power x beta power x. He obtains an algebraic equations of second degree in alpha and beta, which allows to, expre exp to express beta and consequently uh, beta uh, power t in function of alpha. As a spurious expansion of um, uh, alpha uh, power minus one, and substituting this value of x t um, of uh, y x t, he um, deduce an expression for the solution of the partial difference equations, which in which there are uh, a and alpha indeterminate constants. At this point, Lagrange's process of reasoning is as follows. Take any number of arbitrary constants, a, b, c, a, alpha, beta, gamma, and so on, and all the corresponding solutions. Due to the linearity of the differential difference equation, their sum is also a solution. The series uh, in uh, brackets can represent any function f. And so Lagrange obtains uh, the expressions of the general integral, which depends on uh, one, mm, um, one uh, function f. In the case, uh, the characteristic equation has a unique root. If the characteristic equation has two distinct roots, a second series for beta is obtained and the second expression for y. So the general integrals in this case is the sum of the two expressions which, depend, which depends on two arbitrary functions. The arbitrary functions um, are determined for a particular integral by the initial conditions, uh, which can be the first two row of the, the table of the double sequence or the two columns. It depends. In uh, Lagrange um, presents different methods of integrations, a different form for the solutions, in the um, um, changing also the how um, choose the how uh, the initial conditions. And so he succeed in uh, uh, giving a, also an inter, a general integral in a finite uh, form. 
not in the form of a series. In the case of three or more independent variables, the integration methods are the generalizations of those who used for two independent variables. Solutions are to be found of the following form, with the constant to be determined, and then uh, um, uh, by substituting and simplifying the given equations, one of the the roots of the characteristic equation is expressed in terms of the others, uh, in general as a power series of the negative uh, powers of the other roots. And this brings the integral to a general form which contains a certain number of arbitrary functions uh, in, number, in the same number as the degree of the equations. And so, uh, it's the general integral. The arbitrary functions are determined by the initial conditions and these methods can be extended to equations of any order. So in the last uh, chapter, uh, Lagrange presents a certain number of um, classic uh, extensions uh, of classic problems. Um, uh, the first problem uh, um, is uh, the, the, uh, to find the probability of the happening of an event um, t times in X trials if the probability of um, uh, the happening of this event in uh, one trial is P. And uh, this problem is translated in this uh, in this um, uh, uh, partial difference equations into variables with uh, this uh, initial condition. The second problem is the generalization uh, to two events of the same problem, to two events. The third problem corresponds to a classical problem called the problem of points, uh, or in French, des parties. Uh, this problem was uh, um, uh, for the first time uh, proposed by Pascal <coughs> in a letter to Fermat. Um, two players can win a certain number of points or coins and if the game is interrupted <coughs> how, how should the wager be divided? The problem corresponds to finding the probability that each player has of winning at any moment of the game. The fourth problem is the generalization of the third, the third one to the case of three events of probabilities of P, Q, R respectively. Uh, in a corollary, Lagrange extends the method to four events and in a second corollary to any number of events. The fifth problem is uh, one problem of duration of a play. That means it's a, another classical problem. Um, the first example of which was proposed by Huygens in the Raciocinis in Ludoale and later solved in a more general form without however demonstration by Jacob Bernoulli in Ascon et Tandi. Then was studied by Montmore, Bernoulli, Nicolaus Bernoulli, De Moivre and Laplace. Uh, the general problem may be expressed as follows. Two players have the first M and the second N points and the respective probabilities of winning a single game uh, are in the ratio as A to B. Supposing, moreover, that the loser must each time give the, his adversary a point, the question concerns the probability that each player has of winning all the adversary's points by playing a certain number of games or of winning before a certain number of games. The sixth problem is uh, uh, the most general 
the most general uh, form of the, du of the duration of a play, in which it is supposed that the plays start with different capitals. And finally, the last problem is another famous problem, problem of Wurms, proposed by Daniel Bernoulli. Let there be a sequence of uh, A urns, each of them containing N tickets or bolts, some of which are white and some black. A ticket is, take, it is taken at random from each urn. The ticket taken from the first urn is put into the second and so on. And the ticket taken from the last urn is put into the first. The operation is repeated for any assigned number B of times. The question concerns the probable distribution of the ticket or balls at the end of these operations. So um, uh, Bernoulli solved this problem uh, integrating a differential equation whose solution coincides with that of the original problems as the number of abstractions and tickets approach infinity. And uh, Lagrange gives, on the contrary, the exact solution in this case. Well, let me remember only Gianfrancesco Malfatti, um, because um, he corrected the uh, Grange's formulas for the um, coefficient of general integral in case of ordinary difference equations. Um, it's a, an example, but um, I'll uh, present later some other authors, um, Italian mathematicians, who developed Lagrange methods uh, for integrating uh, difference equations. Uh, in, in particular, Malfatti wrote three uh, works uh, related to our topic. Um, on the problem of the, lo on the, lo uh, the lottery, a lottery who assigned prices to the sum of the number extracted. Uh, so in reality is a problem of partition of numbers. And uh, in occasion of the last memoir, he corrected the, um, the work of Lagrange, the form Lagrange formulas. And Lagrange in his turn, in a following uh, memoir, this one, um, gave um, the correct formula in a more comp compact form. Now we have to we have to. Uh, to talk about a little uh, of about Laplace because uh, uh, Laplace wrote in his turn many memoirs on different equation or related topics uh, as I remember before. In particular, the third one was written almost contemporary, con, uh, contemporarily uh, with the, the second memoir of Lagrange. Uh, and the, there are uh, um, references in their correspondence, but uh, um, as you can see, the no influence between them. <laughs> And uh, the, the first three mm, uh, can be described uh, together. The last one uh, is completely new in the methods. La Blas first memoir is included in, in, a, in a volume of the Journal of the Academy of Science of Turin. It's not included in uh, his um, collective works. In the first part, Laplace uh, established some, the some theorems uh, for differential equations. And then um, he extended 
the methods to different equations. Uh, he um, examines um, differential and separate difference equations uh, with, the, um, in this case, uh, uh, with co linear with constant coefficients of any degree. and also to uh, linear difference equations with variable coefficients. Mm. Look, this, this is the general f uh, form uh, according to Laplace of uh, linear difference equations. The um, x is not, an exp not a power, it's uh, the index of y. Yeah? Mm. Laplace is the first to examine the case of variable coefficient for linear equation one variable. And the, the methods of integration are a method of reduction of order. So uh, uh, an, an equation of degree n is uh, reduced to, a to an equation of degree n minus one and so on and so on. Around uh, 70, 73, 74, Laplace wrote two other important memoirs on this subject. And they deal uh, with the problem with this natural development, the difference equation in more variables, partial difference equations. Yeah. For um, this type of sequences, uh, Laplace uh, used the term uh, recurro recurrent. Laplace uses a method reduction of the order also in this case. Uh, this is a, the general expression according to Laplace of a, um, an equation, a difference equa partial different equation in two variables. Uh, the unknown is y, of, is a function of n and x mm. uh, in uh, of degree of Degree, this is of degree two. This is a, a general expression uh, according to Laplace of an equation of the, um, degree three in two variables, in two independent variables, which is reduced to the second order. In general, one of order R uh, with respect to the index N we have to be reduced to R minus one order, and then for the other orders. The second part of his memoir is devoted to the problems of game theory and their translation and resolution in terms of uh, double sequences. For example, these three problems Sorry, what is it? Uh, are translated in uh, this in these uh, equations, partial equations. Then um, these two first memoir are um, de-exposed in the third equations. Uh, in which uh, uh, Lagrange, uh, uh, Laplace, sorry, um, in, uh, introduce also uh, systems and um, a particular type of um, systems he um, called uh, equation rentrante en el même. The first part of the memoir, as I told, includes the rewriting of the previous two memoirs uh, and contains the main innovative elements in the consideration of some particular type of systems in one independent variable. And regarding more variables, an extension of the method already described for the case of three variables. Eccolo qua. Beh. 
Laplace examined uh, what he calls uh, um, equation three variables. Uh, they are not uh, equation uh, in our um, language, in our in the modern time, in modern terms, are a system of two equations in uh, one independent variable and two unknown, y, uh, y x and y prime x. Laplace methods for the integration of this equation is to reduce them by elimination to two other equations, one in y x and x, and the other in y prime x and x. And so it corresponds to the classic method to reduce a system of um, a linear equation to the first order. Then he considers a particular type of equations which uh, he called Rantrant and Elmem, and it consists of, um, for example, this is a system uh, of, um, this is a system of n equations in n uh, unknown. Uh, this is, um, recursive. This type of equations uh, intervene in um, uh, some problems of uh, game theory. He solved the most general equations of this type and then extend the investigation to equation called uh, um, in and trois variable. Uh, in reality are a system in uh, uh, three uh, unknown sequences. Y, Y1, and Y2. And then he, he, uh, he faced he faced the problem of uh, sequencing in uh, uh, three variables, independent variables. This is the y depends on three variables, m, n, and x. Well, as you can see, the, uh, this uh, memoir by Laplace is completely different from the one given by uh, Lagrange. Uh, Laplace is more interested in methods and uh, uh, in their great general generality. Uh, on the contrary, Lagrange is interested in the theory and the uh, and giving the more complete theory, even for a uh, more strict class of equations. So from the point of view of mathematicians, maybe uh, Lagrange memoir is uh, more satisfying. So, uh, on the contrary, Laplace give uh, methods we can apply it to a, certain, a wider number of equations. But uh, the um, more celebrated memoir of Laplace is the, the one of 1782, in which Laplace introduces calculus of generatic functions, uh, and, um, which had important application to the probability theory. In fact, the principle and the methods of this calculus were again described in the celebrated treatise, Theory de Probabilité. Mm. Uh, in, um, in its most elementary concept, a generatis function is any function which expands into an infinite convergent power series and has coefficient formed according to a given law. For example, 
For example, for a, a difference equation, a simple different equation like the x1 in one variable, a solution is the coefficient, the collision of yn of these equations is the coefficient of uh, uh, x power n and uh, the, um, powers, the development in power series of these uh, rational functions in which the denominator is the characteristic equations of the, uh, of the difference equations. And the numerators, the, the coefficient depends on the initial value. And Laplace, um, using this, uh, the um, a generatic function, uh, succeeded in um, giving a formula, this one, um, which is a representation of the solution in terms of the initial values. In the second part of the memoir, Laplace also discussed a general method of solving linear difference equation with variable coefficients and using Laplace transforms and another also Melling transform. And this method um, uh, were very, very influential in the, the rest of the century uh, on research uh, on finite difference equations. But as, as we look at um, Italy and Italian mathematicians, we can note that uh, Lagrange methods were extended to more general equations. So our Laplace, Lagrange's methods, um, which were most, more, more influential and contributed to develop an original research uh, on different equations. Um, what is it? I can open also this file or the um, the PowerPoint pre presentation again and go to the research developed by Paoli and uh, Brunacci. In fact, the contributions of Italian mathematicians was considerable to the theory of um, difference equations. They were underlined by the Lambre in the rapport historique sur le progrès des sciences mathématiques depuis, depuis 1789 et sur leur état actuel, presented to Napoleon in 1808. 1808 and they are amply found in the volumes of the monumental Traité du Calcul Différentiel du Calcul Integral by Lacroix. Ooh. The, um, the field, yes. Uh, the most interesting author is Pietro Paoli in this group of mathematicians, uh, which includes uh, Vincenzo Brunacci, Gianfrancesco Malfatti, but also minor contributions by uh, Lornia or uh, um, other mathematicians. Uh, Pietro Paoli devoted himself uh, to this uh, um, large part 
devoted um, to this topic a large part of uh, his research. Uh, and uh, to particular, a particular type of difference equation which was not studied uh, by Laplace or Lagrange. A equation with variable steps in which uh, the difference uh, is a function of the variable. For example, uh, in his first publication, uh, he was very young, he was 21 years old. Uh, he, uh, Paoli studies, uh, deals with uh, ordinary equations in which the difference double, doubles every each time. Uh, the dif normally, the difference of the variables is constant and is equal to one often. In this case, uh, double. So, uh, the dif the, this type of equation has the f this form. And the, here, uh, the, the, the integrating method is, is inspired by enterprise to uh, Lagrange's method. He assumed that the solution um, had this form, and so uh, substituting in the different equations, he obtained a, an algebraic equations. Uh, and uh, through this one, uh, the expression of the general integral in all cases of real or imaginary or simple or mul multiple roots of the equations. Uh, similarly, for the, most, um, the more general equation in which the difference, uh, the steps um, increase according to a geometric progressions of ratio a, not ratio 2, but ratio, more generally ratio A, and the, the, um, he assumes that the solution um, has this form, and so uh, he arrives to an algebraic equations, um, and, um, and he arrives to an expression of the general integral. For the non-homogeneous equ equations, uh, he develops a method of uh, integrating factor, taking inspiration from Euler's method for differential equation. Pauli's method is original and is fully developed in, the, in tome three uh, of the Traité du calcul différentiel uh, uh, du calcul integral by, uh, by Lacroix. We can shift this part. Then in uh, a memoir, um, in uh, this one in Italian, the first, uh, the first uh, publication was in Latin. Um, uh, Pauli um, studies uh, uh, ordinary one variable difference equation with difference of whatever type, not uh, uh, the, the law uh, according to which the difference increase or decrease or varies in any case is uh, the most general. The, the difference expressed as uh, phi x minus x, where phi is a given function of x. The main idea of, the, of this method is very simple. Uh, it's a question of taking the integration of an equation with variable differences back to one with constant differences by means of a suitable substitution. For example, for an equation of this type, where the difference is uh, given by the function f, phi, he um, searches for a uh, substitution such that when in um, uh, when z, z varies by one, uh, x varies by uh, 
phi x minus x. So that is uh, it, uh, necessary to solve this auxiliary equation. Finally, in uh, this memoir of um, 7084, uh, Pietro Paoli studies uh, uh, um, partial difference equations in which, in two independent variables, in which the, the difference of uh, one of the variables is a function of the other. In this case, <laughs> the substitution um, uh, is uh, z of um, y x, uh, a constant, uh, not a, it's not a constant, it's a, a geometric sequence according to uh, y, and the products of um, uh, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha x, for the other. There is an analogy with the Lagrange methods. And uh, he arrives to a general expression of the general integral, which depends on an arbitrary function, which depends on the initial data, z, z y, zero. The second, uh, uh, I, uh, the, the type of equations, this type of equation in two variables are strictly connected with the um, problems of uh, partitions of numbers. They, they are uh, remembered also by Brioschi, for example, when he uh, um, uh, was dealing with uh, um, partition numbers, but in relation with the number of um, invariants of binary forms. He recalls the, the results of Pietro Paoli. The other topic in which Pietro Paoli um, reached, um, um, reached in, in high um, level and uh, was the one of the mixed equations. That means equation mixed uh, with um, differentials and differences. So what now is called differential, differential equations. Um, mixed equation uh, don't derive only from abstract problems, but are to be found in various questions. Also at that time, mixed equations were, for example, the equation de condition given by Condorcet for the integrability of difference equations. Mixed equations translated geometrical problems, such as those illustrated in application des equations en différence mêlée, differ mixed differences, uh, the question geometrique in the tome three uh, of the treatise by Lacroix. Uh, mixed equation may also be used in pure analytic research, general link to the series theory, like those developed by Pauli. Pauli's most important memoir, as far as the, the depth of theme and originality of results, uh, uh, is the one inserted into the volume 8 of the Mem Memoria della Società Italiana. It receives an award from the Italian society uh, for this memoir, for this uh, work. This memoir examines, uh, okay, in uh, Article 1, are considered a mixed equation in two independent variables uh, in which uh, uh, differences and differentials and, and derivatives are composed also. Pauli developed the reduction of order technique, referring back to an integration of an equation of the same type of degree n minus one. 
and the first order and, and one first order equation of this type where alpha is the root of uh, an algebraic equation and alpha n repeated integration you obtain the general integral of the given equation. In the third article, some mixed equations in three independent variables considered, which contain ordinary difference and partial derivatives, or partial de differences and ordinary derivatives, such uh, the examples you can see here. In the, in the following uh, articles, the general method is described for equation in two, three, or more independent variables of any order. Uh, for example, to solve uh, this equation of um, the first order, uh, you, uh, Pauli, um, search for solution of this type. Yes, it's a mix, mixed method, both difference and differential. Yes, and so um, you can find the, um, the general integral in this form. Um, you can see here. This represented the general integral of this equation. For uh, equation... Um, of three variables, it starts according to the number of integer or real variables from the solution of this form. It starts from uh, solution of this form or, or these forms to um, construct the general integral. This is another equation. Uh, this is another memoir. Uh, um, the same time of problem, same type of problems. And uh, let me remember um, just a little bit Vincenzo Brunacci, who was the first to uh, provide a, a treatise uh, just for the integral calculus of different equations. Um, his first works um, was um, written in 1792. Um, it started from ordinary equations, uh, and Brunacci um, used uh, uh, often the representation uh, with uh, continued fractions. The article one is ordinary equation, the article on partial equation, the article three on equations with constant coefficients. And ma the more, um, much more important is the monography of 1798. Mm. Look, also Brunacci, uh, to, so to solve these equations, start from an, an equation of this, uh, a solution of this form. And so we construct the general integral. So as you can see, uh, are Lagrange's methods who influenced more this research in Italy in those years, at the end of, this, of the 18th century. This is uh, the um, the solution, uh, the technique developed by Brunacci in uh, his treatise. Finally, uh, he uh, deals with partial differential equations. And also in another memoir in, uh, with singular integral or dif difference equation of uh, Clairaut type. Well, we can find also other memoirs, as I told before, of Italian mathematician of this, uh, of this period, uh, dealing with uh, uh, different equations, uh, especially relating to problem of partition of numbers and the uh, theory of, um, in, of games. Uh, this type of contribution are now completely forgotten. Uh, on, on the other side, also difference equations, theory, uh, the story of these difference equations, 
is uh, neglected. Um, as a, uh, let me uh, conclude uh, uh, with uh, some observations um, on further further developments. Uh, I think that some modifications uh, should be made to the judgment expressed by Petrova and Solovev, according to whom, in the theory of finite difference equation in the 19th century, there were few substantial results. Uh, they quote, they quoted, they quote only the work of Laplace and the method of generating function and integral transforms. But apart from the works of Pauli and Brunacci and the other Italian mathematicians uh, on the line of Lagrange's methods, uh, um, um, we can find that a certain interest in calculus of difference equation persisted during the rest of the 19th century, as may be seen, for instance, from the work classified on the Gallica website it's a list of uh, contribution of different time, of course, but also um, by important mathematicians. Um, they are uh, different. There are contributions uh, devoted to the general theory uh, of difference equation, other to particular, particular equations related to specific context. There are, um, for example, two paper by Sylvester, uh, as I told before, Sylvester and Cayley were interested in, parti in partition, in problem of partition of number, because there is a link with the invariant theory. Uh, we can see in this list also a mark of mono monography uh, at the end of the 19th century. There are some paper by Cauchy of the middle of the century on symbolic calculus in relation to both differential and difference equations. In fact, in connection with the 19th century development of the symbolic calculus, uh, this calculus was also used to solve finite difference equations. There is also the a famous paper of 1885 by Poincaré, which led the foundation for a new area in the theory of fin finite difference equation, the study of the asymptotic behavior of a solution at infinity, which is of great importance. In any case, the calculus of generatrix functions was considered an almost extinct branch of mathematics at the beginning of the 20th century, as we can see in edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica of those years. So, what survives of the old 18th, early 19th century to theory? At an elementary level, the basic theory has disappeared. It's not cor currently taught in university courses. Only some elements of difference calculus are included in numerical analysis. As for research, the center of gravity of the theory of finite difference equation in modern mathematics has shifted to other areas. Firstly, in connection with the development of computer mathematics, the study of finite difference equations in several uh, arguments, several variables, with certain boundary conditions, is shown intense development. Solving such equation gives approximate solution to the partial difference equation that arise in problems of mechanics and physics. Secondly, interest in differential difference equation, which often arise in mechanics, has increased in recent decades. Among the latter, for example, are equations with retarded argument, whose theory became an independent branch of mathematics during the 20th century. Let me show, for example, some recent monographs devoted to record sequence or difference equations. This is a mono recent monography on recurrence sequences. 
this is uh, devoted, uh, enti entirely devoted to partial difference equations. Uh, it's a volume of proceedings entirely devoted to partial difference equations. For example, just a little example, uh, chapter one is devoted to uh, partial difference equations, as you can see this equation here, in two variables. Devoted to delay difference equation, in particular these this monographs. Delay difference equation, particular mixed equation. Um, for example, in the introduction, you can see here, this is a type of uh, mixed difference equation with differential and difference differences. Um, this equation is uh, linked to um, to the study of um, uh, the survival of red blood cells in animals uh, when we assume that the spatial, spi spatial, uh, spatial, spatial, spatial migration is possible. So, <coughs> other papers on retarded arguments or delay equations. Uh, both in pure and applied mathematics, you can find this topic. For example, this one is uh, um, um, an equality for second order differential equation uh, with retarded arguments, which contain also difference equation. This uh, study on global stability by partial differential equation with distributed delay. Uh, this is uh, applied mathematics. And this, is, this contribution is on a partial differential equation with a retardation of the maturation. Uh, variable. It's a, it's a mixed equation, mixed equation of differential and difference equation. When there is a delay, there is also a difference. In fact, there is a sort of feedback from applied to pure mathematics in many directions and contexts. If a uh, mixed equation uh, arose in uh, applied mathematics, now are also studied uh, from a theoretical point of view in many directions and aspects. Uh, this is um, the Journal of Difference Equation and Applications, and this is a, a paper on solvability condition for infinite system of difference equation. This is uh, another study on analytic solution to ordinary linear, ordinary linear analytic equation with analytic coefficients. Uh, linear recurrent double sequence enter also in classification of symmetries. And so on. <laughs> uh, this is a, ma a multiple, triple, um, Fibonacci sequence, which has some similarities with the, those sequences called by Laplace, Rantrant, and El Mem. And this is one of the first paper on mixed equation in economics in connection with the trace cycles. The type of research, it seems, uh, st started um, from in the 30s of the last centuries. So this is of uh, 1938. This is a missed equation, ordinary equation, significant for this type of problem, applied problem. Another paper on state-dependent differential difference equations in economics, according to vintage capital growth model. And one of the first paper on systems on, of mixed difference equations it dates back to 1935. This is a translation of an important paper on mixed equation mathematical physics. And so the list is so long, and uh, 
I think uh, your patience too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for your talk. Is there any remark and comment? Just wanted to ask if th these Italian mathematicians mm -hmm. that you mentioned, uh, was there any direct connection with Lagrange? Uh, well, um, yes, um, I think uh, Brunacci mm -hmm. was exiled Ah, no, 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 Lagrange was already died, <laughs> sorry. No, um, no direct correction, but uh, Lagrange's work well studied, uh, they were very influential in, uh, in Italy, yes. Um, I made a mistake. Brunacci uh, um, was in Paris, but um, after the, um, the end of the Napoleonic period, mm -hmm. Because Brunacci, for example, was involved in uh, uh, in, uh, um, in the government. He was uh, inspector for uh, waterways and ro roadways and waterways. So he collaborated with this mm -hmm. uh, um, governments. And uh, when they were, there, there was a restoration, um, they they were compelled to exile or. That's uh, probably um, it, um, the, the, it's one um, from um, this situation that I've also uh, the um, the, um, the 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 um, how can I say um, the loss of uh, the memory of this important research, because you know um, when uh, it's uh, finished the period uh, the compromise with the uh, uh, regime, uh, uh, we, uh, our experience um, uh, in studying uh, the mathematicians, the mathematics, the mathematical development in Italy uh, in Napoleonic period is that also the, ma the memory of these uh, people are cancelled. So it's, uh, this it's happens, difficult. This to happens quite often. Okay, if there is no other question, we thank again the speaker. Uh, Une petite information pour ceux qui préfèrent lire en italien, <rire> au moins partie de la, de la communication d'aujourd'hui, il y a un écrit relationné par Maria Teresa Borgato, ici, dans ce livre. Euh, J'en profite pour vous faire une très légère présentation de cet ouvrage qui a été écrit par environ 25 personnes, euh, en l'honneur de Christian Gillin, historien des mathématiques, et plusieurs personnes présentes ici ont apporté des contributions, mais en particulier, il y en a trois qui sont relatives à Lagrange, hein, l'une qui est proche de ce que vous a dit euh, Maria Teresa, il y en a une autre de Michel Chaperon, euh, sur les lois de la rotation de la Lune, hein, et qui y aura quelques relations lointaines avec l'exposé d'Alain Alboui demain, assez lointaines, hein, et puis une de Christine Philly sur euh, un, les notes d'un étudiant d'un cours de Lagrange à l'école polytechnique, sujet sur lequel avait travaillé Luigi, hein, mais que Christine Philly ignorait à l'époque, ce qui fait que nous avons dans les notes essayé de rattraper un petit peu la chose. Hein. Euh, voilà, donc je vais faire euh, circuler ce livre si vous voulez, et cet exemplaire, euh, je vais le donner euh, demain, euh, demain soir ou euh, jeudi à la bibliothèque de l'école normale supérieure de Pise, alors, comme c'est un livre fort peu trousse des liens, il sera dans la salle trousse d'elle, ce qui permettra une petite contradiction interne à la bibliothèque de l'école.